in this video we are going to talk about shards guys we're going to tell you how to get them how to use them and we're going to show you the differences after you use one on one of these lumies Hey guys and welcome back to Dieter Play. So Lumion Legacy Shards, those things are very powerful, very useful, and I did say at one point that you could actually just hold them and they would do something. I thought they did something in battle, but that actually was not accurate. What we have to do is we need to give them to some Lumions. I've got several of them here and I haven't given them to any Lumions yet, so I'm going to do that here in this video and we're going to take a look at the stats before and after and see what actually happens, but we're also going to tell you guys how to get these shards. I'm sure most of you guys has gone through the game, but if you started late, if you started after August 4th, you didn't get a shard when you encountered that first corrupted uh, dust kit. So, you know in the game, you go through the, the Gale Forest and you have that uh, the dust kit. That first dust kit that you encounter in the Gale Forest, that one is corrupted. It's been, you know, and it's been taken over by some sort of evil spirit or something, and then you have to defeat it, and normally, like, if you beat the game, or if you did that before August 4th, and they did an update, then it dropped a shard. Now, if you want to get a shard, you have to encounter a corrupted somewhere in the wild. Now, encountering the corrupted is very, very rare. Those are even less rare than encountering any gleaming or any dust kits by themselves. So, I think it's like 0.02% of them are dust kits, or even maybe be less of them I'm not sure exactly uh, but trying to get those you just have to go and grind and keep trying to get some in the wild now of course there is a booster that you can get that can probably help you out a little bit and try to increase those chances but still I don't know I don't really run into a whole bunch but it says roaming and corrupt so you can actually multiply that by four here for 10 minutes with one of these tokens and that's only 10 minutes so those tokens are pretty expensive when it comes to trying to get the roaming and the corrupt and still Still, even with those on, you're not necessarily guaranteed to get one. So when you do encounter one of those uh, Corrupteds, you can't catch it. You have to defeat it. So don't lose and don't run away. Definitely don't run away if you encounter one of those, but just definitely take it on and defeat it. And then after you do that, you will end up getting one of these in your inventory. Now, I thought it would have been an item. Uh, it's not something in the item area. You go to medicine and these are what you get. There's various types over here. So there's some that can re uh, bring up your attack and your defense for both uh, both the special moves and the speed and the health and the energy so what we have here I've got five of these here uh, they, they made it to where again they did an update to where that first one you encounter in the wild you do not get one of these because well they just didn't want people going in and getting a whole bunch of these on various uh, alternate accounts and then trading them over and then they have a whole bunch of these and it kind of gives them an unfair advantage uh, by doing that so hopefully not a lot of people figure that out and we're doing that at that time uh, but this uh, attack shard right here for example attack shard R a mysterious shard collected and defeated by defeating a corrupted Lumion it seems to increase the Lumion's unique special attack points so if it's R if it's a defense or an attack shard R then that means it is going to bring up the special attack or defense now if it's a defense or attack shard M then that is going to be just your normal defense right there for that if it's a speed shard then it's going to bring up your speed points and if it's an energy shard then it's going to bring up your energy so let's just kind of use one of these as a little example on one of these guys so first we're going to take a look at this dusket that we have right here it is at level 10 it's got it's indifferent a little bit big someone gave it to me so shout out to dance dance who gave gave that one to me uh, during a live stream when I was giving some stuff away. Uh, with inflicted with a burn, poison, or paralysis by an opponent's move, the opponent is obligated to be inflicted too. Nice. So if you try to inflict this guy, it's kind of got a nice little special ability. I like that in the dust kit. So what we're going to look at though, more importantly, here is the training. Let's look at all the training numbers. We've got base values. We've got UP values, the up values. Those are just kind of like normal values that you're going to get. This one has some pretty low defense values right there. Uh, but then I think that's partly because it's got the, uh, well, no, it's indifferent. So I don't know why it's uh, its defense UP values are so low. So I might want to do some special defense training on this guy as well. Uh, but let's see. So he's, all, he's only done one train in attack. 
Okay, so we're going to look at these numbers right here. All right, so I'm writing down these numbers right here. We've got the base values, we've got the up, we've got the training points, and then whatever these ones are over here, uh, it is at level 10. So let's see what happens if we give him one of these shards. So let's see. Let's, uh, let's just give him a... Um, I say at this point, let's give him an attack shard. So actually, I think I'm gonna give it the speed shard right here. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is click on that and then click on use and then use it on one of these Lumians. Click on the dusket up here. This is the one that I'm gonna use it on. It says it's unique speed points increased. It doesn't even ask you like, are you sure? So make sure you know which one you wanna give it to because it doesn't confirm and double check that you actually want that. So that speed shard went away. Okay, back to the medicine. So speed shard is gone. Now let's go and let's look at his stats now and see how that works out. So dusk it. We've got him. We're going to look at his training. And at this point, let's see. All of these numbers are the same over here. The TP numbers are the same. And uh, these ones are almost the same. But right here, the up values, the UP values right here have gone from 13 up to 23. So it actually gave me 10 points here on this thing so uh over here let's see with speed it doesn't look i mean it, you can't visibly see that it's gone too too much further out there but it has it's gone a little bit further out here and this is a little bit sharper here on the speed than it was so like if i took that special defense shard it would raise this one quite a bit so yeah that's what it's going to do it's going to raise 10 of the up values now if you guys are just wondering what these values are or anything here in chesma town around the corner there's a little school here and there's some really really smart kids in this school each of these kids when you talk to them will explain something to you about the game now this guy over here with those really really cool headphones uh, every stat Lumine has gets its own up value so each one has its own up value the highest up value is 40 so the highest possible value is 40 for any of those so those were pretty good stats for that dust kit some of those things were kind of low so if you can get one with up values of 40 across the board then you are good to go and the shards aren't even really necessary the training never changes the up values only the shards will do that so uh, if you want to raise the other ones there's the tp values and then you can learn about the training values over here and i've also made a guide for you guys that can um that explains to you which lumians in which battles you want to engage in to do the different training for the different kind of stuff because each of them have their own unique points and uh, when it comes down to it you want to train in a certain way like for example there's certain lumians that you encounter that are going to help with your tp training for attack defense special attack special defense speed energy and health now i'm not sure which one at this point is going to help us bring up the energy uh, so we don't know that one, but once Route 4 is open, we can have one. I'm sure that's going to help us do that. So if you want to train at this point, you can keep going on all those other things. But yeah, so that is how the shards work, guys. If you want to see uh, what, what the best stats you can have, if you have something here that has 40 across the board here, then that is really, really good. Like a really good Lumion is one that's got 40 up all the way across and uh it's it's got let's see overview here it would have a personality type that's only a positive one and it would be really really big so that one also let's see if it had a special ability that would be amazing and useful to you as well but trying to find one with that is going to be very very rare so i hope that has been helpful for you guys when it comes to these shards if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and if you're new here would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell because i want to battle you guys when these battles come out it's going to be so awesome and uh, thank you so much for watching. We will talk to you guys later.